Hey guys, it's your girl Shanika and I just wanted to come on and say hello and welcome to season five. I do want to stop in and tell you that yes, I am expecting. I am eight weeks pregnant. Ever since I found out that I was pregnant, I've been 100% vegan. I have not cheated. I have not slipped up. None of that. I've been 100% vegan, which means I do not consume any type of dairy or any type of animal product at all under any circumstances to be honest with you veganism is not a diet at all it's a lifestyle change a diet to me is like restricting calories or doing low carb or like doing shakes or those are kind of like diet type things but this is something that i plan on continuing for as long as i possibly can i, I definitely want to do it for the nine months that i'm pregnant and then i was thinking because i will be breastfeeding i wanted to do it throughout the entire time that I'm breastfeeding as well so that I don't subject my child to dairy or animal products. And yeah, and that's it. I just wanted to come on here and update you. I will show you like a little belly shot. It's not super huge or anything because I'm only eight weeks, but I'll still show you anyway. So, so this is my belly shot from the front. This is it from the side. As I said, it's not really huge or anything. This is it from the other side. This. So you guys already know I'm going to be updating you on my vegan journey throughout this channel and I'm going to also be doing pregnancy updates on this channel. But in this video um, I am going to show you what I've been eating so far up to this point. So guys you're going to get like three different aspects of my life. You're going to get pregnancy, my you know health and diet and um and then you're going to get your regular vlog. So I was going to make several different channels because I have already, already have a weight loss channel. But I don't really use it anymore because it's I can't figure out how to cash out my money on that, um, on that channel. Like the money's just sitting there and there's a problem with AdSense. I'll just keep everything over here um, and I know you guys don't want to go to like several different channels I already have a beauty channel so um, but yeah I just wanted to update you I don't want to keep you guys any longer and I want I hope you enjoy all of the previous seasons I hope that if you're not subscribed you go ahead and subscribe make sure that you're liking the videos and commenting I want us to stay engaged with one another um, also share the videos too bring people over your friends your family your co-workers whoever it doesn't matter um but yeah i think that's it i know it's been a while i know you guys are ready for me to start making videos again um i have been recording a little bit i think so i should have some footage um but yeah once we close on our house which our lease is up in august but once we close in the house, I'm going to go to daily vlogging. So right now, I'm just still doing weekly vlogging. But as soon as we close in our house and we get moved in and everything, I'm going to go ahead and start daily vlogging. So, yeah, so many new and exciting changes happening. I'm going to start um, screenshotting people's comments underneath the videos and labeling them as the riveting ray of the week um i used to do it through instagram like get the comments from there but i'm just gonna make it easy because uh, i do want to acknowledge you guys and recognize you guys so i am going to you know pick a comment that i love that i felt was heartfelt or genuine or that was just super sweet and sincere or whatever the case is or maybe it was unique and quirky and funny i don't know um and i'll just feature a person one of you guys a riveting ray of sunshine um every week that's another change that i'm going to do so you don't have to do a whole bunch of rigmarole you know just to be featured like going to instagram and commenting on this and tagging this and liking this and all that i'm not going to make it that big of a deal because i really do want to recognize you guys and and acknowledge you and stuff so i'm going to start doing that as well yeah i think that's it so hopefully i'm not missing anything um if you like this lip i will put the link to 
my lip swatch video in the bottom description box because I just did a lip swatch video where I swatched six different colors and um, that is should be up on my beauty channel right now so other than that bye guys I'll talk to you in my next vlog this is a green smoothie that I try to have every day, which usually contains frozen tropical fruit, frozen bananas, spinach, kale, and unsweetened almond milk. This is a salad that I put together that has spinach, tomato, sweet potato, um, it has golden raisins, and a vegan salad dressing. This is a snack on the left, it's ants on a log, golden raisins with peanut butter and celery, and then on the right I cooked some asparagus for dinner one night. I am also trying to transition Ridley to a vegan lifestyle as well. She loves asparagus. In this next picture, you'll see me soaking my white navy beans overnight. That's a great source of protein for vegans. And then you will see a snack which consists of grapes and blueberries. This is another smoothie day where I'm just showing you how the contents look in the actual blender, which is the unsweetened vanilla almond milk and the spinach. And this is when the beans were done. They were so good. And I used vegan butter. You can see it says non-GMO, vegan great buttery taste. Amazing. This is watermelon. Who doesn't like watermelon? And it was great. It's not in season, but I still purchased it anyway. Maybe a little bit more costly. Uh, these are nuts, cashews to be exact. Um, they're roasted and they're salted and they're considered a good source of protein for vegans. Here's another salad. I went all out. I have the beans, the avocado, the spinach, um, shredded carrots, tomatoes, golden raisins, pickles. It has some everything in there. And I can't stop drinking coffee, but I can't have regular creamer. So I do have vegan creamer made with coconut milk, French vanilla, and it's great. This is kale chips with some hummus. I hated those kale chips. That's the one thing I don't like. I took them back. <laughs> this is a plate that I got from Whole Foods. It has zucchini, roasted potatoes, strawberries, pineapple, and broccoli. And again, here's some baby spinach and some kale. I try to get this into my diet every single day. The best way is in a smoothie. Here's some ice cream. Can't go without ice cream, but it's dairy free. Um, it's made with coconut milk, and I got strawberry and mocha almond fudge. Yummy. Here's some chips. Um, these are sea salt kettle chips. Three ingredients potato, sunflower oil, and sea salt. That's it. They are based off vegan. And here is some black tea with a grapefruit, which is, well, kind of like a little snack for me that day. Now this is freshly cut strawberries and some cream cheese and of course this is vegan cream cheese but can't go without my cream cheese, love it. And this is a vegan slice of pizza that I got from Whole Foods. It was amazing, oh my gosh, so good. And again, here's that salad that I'm always chopping up and eating. Well, and I just want a variety of ingredients, I'll just throw this together. And this is a cereal that I've eat, eaten. It's 11 grams of protein, it's vegan, and it's really, really good. Flakes and clusters, protein and fiber. Again, can't go without pizza, so especially I'm expecting, I do have cravings and things. So this is a vegan pizza. It was margarita, it was delicious. Um, here's some hummus. This is balsamic caramelized onion hummus, and I ate that with some carrots, and I really did like that hummus, it's really great. And this is a smoothie that I got from Tropical Smoothie Cafe called Totally Green. It had cucumber, green apple, kale, spinach, celery, and kiwi. It was delicious. And again, this is my cereal. And this time I decided to add some fresh blueberries, which made it, which made it taste even better. And then right here is a prenatal vitamin that I'm currently taking. And it has plant-based DHA because a lot of... DHA sometimes come from animal products. So then I decided to make some pasta using bow tie noodles, vegan alfredo sauce, sun dried tomatoes, grape tomatoes, and mushrooms. With It was just so good. I loved it. 
and then my most favorite thing of all white rice with mushrooms garlic and vegan butter white rice has no nutritional content value don't eat it but it's delicious and then this is vegan cheese and I made some cheese fries with this the other day because some fries are vegan and yeah they were delicious so that concludes what's been going on as of recent. This video was recorded in April, but I have footage dating all the way back to the beginning of March, the very first week of March to be exact. So the next vlog is gonna rewind a little bit and go back all the way to March and then it's gonna gradually get to the present. And this week's riveting ray of sunshine is Shauna Williams. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of the Montgomery family. And to everyone else, please like and subscribe. Bye.